a seven. It just bounced. A portion of the song through bass amp simulator. Oh, cause I wanted to feel like we were underwater before the song started. You Drums were played by the one and only Click Limon in his studio. Click has an amazing piano in his in his studio. Did a trash like recording of. And I was making funny noises in the back too. And me going like, oh, oh, in the back. Um, it adds a cool texture in the full, in the full song, you know? My session's a mess, so sorry. <laughs> what you're looking at. Added more like claps and bigger drums. And then verse two gets more like sampled drums. I mean, it, we still use his real drum kit. I just like processed it super weird. Then we have this, the big synth bass. The bass is, a, it, oh, the bass line reminds me of a song from the Great Gatsby soundtrack. That I remember feeling like, oh, this is so epic, but I forget what song it is. So it, boom, boom. it's like a orchestra, or orchestral hit. And then obviously the synth bass that's fucking bumping right now. I could talk about my vocal processing a little bit. I am running off a really simple rig right now. Ozone compression. Oh, I use this saturation a lot. Ooh, the tape sounds great on vocals. It's the standard ozone compressor. Can you tell I like ozone? As far as delays, mod delay for a slap back effect, H delay for a longer delay. And I'd say that's about it. I'd say like that's the rundown. Oh, you know what I can also show you is, is the high violin vocals that I resampled that I'm really proud of. They turned out super cool. I just wanted it to elevate in the last chorus. These guys. They just like sit so nicely over the top. That is a bookend. That's how you end this song.